The American Indian Student Council celebrated its 45th annual powwow. The two-day event featured an array of vendors, cultural dances, and traditional food. The powwow started off with gourd dancing, which features participants dancing around a group of drummers. Vendors sold a variety of handmade items like jewelry, paintings, and toys. Each vendor had its unique style and history. Pat Seymour, who has attended CSLB's Pow Out for the past 10 years, says it is one of her favorite events. Uh, Cal State Long Beach is probably one of the steadiest Pow Wows I've ever been to. They, uh, they're very uh, fair and do not play favorites. Seymour is a part of the Shea Shea Qua tribe and sells a variety of Native American items. Jewelry, we have hair piece, we have artifacts, we have a little bit of everything. Although shaped ice was a popular treat throughout the hot day, guests were able to try cultural foods like Indian tacos. The powwow's biggest draw of the day was its grand entry of dance and memorial song. For lead male dancer J.R. LaPlante says participating in the powwow has helped him shape his life. I owe so much to the arena dancing, uh, so many relationships and friendships and opportunities. You know, I, I owe it all to, to powwows, a lot, a lot to powwows. It taught me a lot over the years. The powwow celebration continued on throughout the evening and on to the following day.